All right, so we're dealing with right triangle trigonometry, and we need to find uh, either the missing side or the missing angle, or in some questions, we need to find everything, so all the sides and the angles. In these particular problems, five through eight, all we need to do is find the missing angle. All we need to do is find the missing angle. All right, so let's go and take a look at number five right here. So it looks like theta, again, theta is that O with the line through it, uh, it looks like it's here at angle B, all right? So we need to find what theta is. And with our knowledge of right triangle trigonometry, we know that all the sides are proportional to each other, all the angles are proportional to each other, and because they are, that means all the sides and angles in respect to each other are all proportional. So we use this phrase I'm writing up on the screen, so ka toa. And it's a funny like, I think, tribal phrase. Some people call it a Jedi phrase. But essentially, the idea is, it, you use this to help you remember, if I'm starting from a particular angle, which sides do I need in order to do that trigonometric function? So from angle B, I will, we'll label all our sides. So 7.7 .7 is on the opposite side of the angle. 14 is on the adjacent side. And the side I have no idea what number it is, is the hypotenuse. Now, obviously, if I wanted to do Pythagorean theorem, I could find the missing side. But I don't need to find the missing side. All I need is the angle. So we need to use the correct trigonometric function to help us find our angle. Now, we have information for the opposite and the adjacent. We know nothing about the hypotenuse. So that means we can't use any of the trig func functions that include the hypotenuse. So I can't use sine because it has the hypotenuse. I can't use cosine because it has it needs the hypotenuse. All I can use is tangent or toa to find what my missing angle is. So we're going to do tangent from theta. Again, because theta is a variable. We don't know what theta is as we're trying to find. So tangent theta is opposite, which is 7.7, .7, over adjacent, which is 14. So here is essentially what you do. It depends on what kind of technology or access you have. If you have a fancy scientific or graphing calculator, you could type in tan negative 1. Because whenever I'm finding angles, that's when I use the inverse. And that negative 1 on your calculators is, means the inverse. So to find angles, I use the inverse of tangent. And you would do 7.7 .7 divided by 14. Now, Mr. Schwant, he uh, has a little bit more archaic technology, and he has a, a nice piece of paper that has all the trigonometric ratios on them. So here's what I do. I'm going to divide 7.7 .7 by 14. So 7.7 .7 divided by 14, and that equals 0 0.55. So 0 0.55. Now, I'm going to go to my fancy chart. I wish I could show you a picture. I didn't think about that in time. But I'm going to go to the tangent column and try to find 0.55. And it looks like the closest angle I can get is 29 degrees. So theta would be 29 degrees. Now, if you happen to have a scientific or graphing calculator, you're going to get an exact answer, like 29.1 or 28.9, something like that. But with the chart, you just go to the decimal that is closest, or if we round, the closest decimal to what's written there on the chart. So with fancy calculators, you're going to get exact answers. With the chart, you'll get pretty approximate answers. All right, let's go ahead and do one more while we're here. Let's do number six together. So number six, again, B is where theta is. We'll label this as the opposite side, the one that's farthest away, adjacent, the one that's closest, and the hypotenuse, again, is always the side opposite of the 90-degree angle. So the 90 degree angle essentially points to the hypotenuse, and then we label all the other sides. So it looks like I have information for the adjacent and the hypotenuse. I have information for the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So I don't have anything for the opposite. That's what I'm missing. So I can't use sine. I can't use tangent. I'll use cosine because it doesn't even need the opposite. So cosine of theta is going to be equal to adjacent, which is 4, over hypotenuse, which is 5. 
So 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.8. And again, I have a chart. I'll look to my chart. 0 0.8 in the cosine column looks to be about 37 degrees, so 0 0.7986. That's the closest I can get. So I'm going to say it's going to be 37 degrees. So theta is 37 degrees. Again, if you have a fancy calculator, you would be able to type it in to get a really exact answer. So that is how you find the measure of angles with uh, basic trigonometry.